hello guys welcome to DTW tutorials welcome okay in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can cover your jam syllabus fast and five tips okay and um, I think I think this is the first video I have this is the first video of the year so I'm wishing you a happy new year and I pray for you that this year you shall accomplish most of your dreams this year your dreams I know you for you students you you have that dream of a particular school for your exam your jam your work getting A's. I pray for you that you shall accomplish it by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, so um, we get on to this video. How can you cover your jam syllabus fast? Okay, and the five tips I have for you. Now, the first one is, the first one is you have to plan your timetable. Critical. The first thing you must plan your timetable first. Okay, ah, okay. I also forgot if this is your first time on this channel, DTW Tutorials, an educational channel on YouTube where we support students preparing for their jam, your GCE, your WAEC, your that's your WATC, and um, your junior WAEC. Name it with free videos on maths and also on your sciences. Okay, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please support us to grow. Please, please support this uh, ministry to grow. All right, and also. Also click on the notification bell so you'll be instantly notified when we upload an educational video on you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, share this video with your friends family and loved ones and always believe that you are destined to win and I want you also to comment in the sec comment section below that you are destined say I am you know I tell so there's the power of the world the two words I am say it I am destined to win in the forthcoming jam 2021 exam say it and leave a comment okay on that particular statement write it down even in your room all right on a piece of paper write it down and say it to yourself every day all right and you would you would with the words you speak manifest in your life just like the way sorry i'm digressing a bit just like the way god said let there be light and there was light so your word you speak manifests manifest in your life even the bible says the power of life and death is in your tongue so speak positivity into your life even if people around you are saying you are dumb you can't make it you are a dollar you are whatever <clears throat> If you don't speak against those words, those words will manifest in your life. So you have to speak out. For a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Speak out and I want to see your comments in the comment section below. Boldly state it. I am destined to win in the forthcoming jam 2021 exam. All right. Sorry so much for digressing. Okay, let's get on to this video. Now, how can you cover your syllabus fast? Now, plan your timetable. Okay, the first thing to plan your timetable is you have to download your syllabus. Go to the dtwtutorials.com. All right, you know, your syllabus uh, for 2021 is it's usually out when the portal is opened. Okay, for maybe when the sales of uh, jam form starts, the, the portal will open and, and I would get the, the syllabus for jam 2021. But nevertheless, for jam 2020, you can start using that syllabus now to read. There will be no much difference. All right. But when um, the data of 2021 is out, I would also notify you. So please be subscribed. So that go to the um, DTW tutorials channel, click on, you see the menu, click on syllabus, uh, go there and you'll see the jam syllabus download the subject you are going to be taking next thing get your textbooks don't just <laughs> don't start saying okay you want to borrow you want to uh -uh. by god's grace god will provide for you and you can do some many jobs here and there or go to past students and ask for their textbook they don't need the textbooks anymore go and ask so get your textbook get your past uh, question booklets very very key and important please make sure you're preparing with your past question booklet okay in getting your textbook i will try to um in the video description box i would also drop down some textbooks that you can get that would help you all right okay and your past question jam past question booklets please make sure you get it all right the next thing you have to draft out your timetable in your notebook you don't just plan it in the air mm -mm. take your notebook i also advise for each topic you know for jam okay for your jam you have four subjects right four subjects you're going to take four subjects that's english and your the remaining uh, three combination for your courses get a 
empty notebook for each of them all right so when you are you are reading open the first one maybe for english and write down open the second one for math and also write and solve so get separate notebook okay now for your timetable oh, with your pen and paper you have to draft it out let's say you want to you want to finish your syllabus in 30 days okay we're going to do this together now let's say you want to finish your syllabus in 30 days now 30 days is like four weeks so uh for instance it depends on the kind of reader you are if you are a reader that just likes to concentrate focus on one subject and complete it then you can say okay let me use the first week we have one for week one week two week three week four you say let me use the first week for english okay let me use the second week for maths let me use the third week for physics let me use the fourth week for what chemistry all right so each each day you draft out how many hours you want to read each day if you're not working okay 10 hours should be okay for you to read each, read each day so you can take five hours in the morning and uh or you can break them maybe two to two hours take a break two hours two hours and on wake up at night also you know two hours and break break your timetable all right so this is you um you have to sit down yourself you can't copy another person's timetable because everybody is different you are there are different learners and different people reading styles some people can read for five hours straight without getting bored some just 30 minutes and they are bored i'm going to tell you what to do and when you are bored what you can do to you know get motivated to read, want to read more all right so everyone with their own different cases and scenarios all right so for instance you can decide to start with english or with maths or with physics but you know your strengths as i said here some subjects may require more time than others depending on your strengths so you know where your weakness is and where your strength is for if if you are, you have um, good strength in english i would just say quickly finish up on english tidy up on english english you might not even need one week or seven days you can just need even four days you've tidied up on english revised it all right and then the next easy one for you might be chemistry you also go through you will notice that chemistry syllabus is a bit voluminous all right so uh you have to also quickly finish that up in that seven days all right whatever you stop in that seven days just hang on there but uh, treat the most important questions all right in uh from the chemistry okay so and in all this in all this your um, planning your syllabus will be a very good guide for you to know which topic to start first all right now another key thing don't worry i'm going to go back to this very soon now read topics this one's uh, the second point tip i have say read topics in the morning and practice on those past questions on those topics in the afternoon so in the morning you can read your topics uh let's say you pick um in maths you pick indices and logarithms and swords okay you read them up in the in the morning then at and uh, the afternoon or in the evening you go to your past question booklet that's where this is very key and practice 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 and practice all right later in the evening you can also follow our blog all right on our blog if you go to the menu bar you see tutorials you see maths physics chemistry for the physics and chemistry for the wire can jump syllabus and the notes have been completed up to about 90 percent so you see the introduction to the topic then at the later end there are questions from those topics so it is focused after you read that particular topic you can now open your past question booklet you can also follow our blog go to groups that are serious for your exams and have a time to be there don't be distracted by social media right now in the morning when you are focusing on reading put off every social media when you want to start practicing with your past question put off kill your data this is not the time to be distracted by social media are you getting my point so you only go on social media for important things and you time yourself if you want to go to the dtw tutorial blog to see questions on that topic you go there you time yourself if you want to watch videos too videos which help 
which are helpful if you go to um, the DTW Tutorials YouTube channel, you see I've arranged them on the first page. You see the jam pass questions on several uh, years, physics and math solved. All right. And you can also follow our Facebook tutorials. I will drop the link of the Facebook group in the video description box of this video. Follow it. There's a timetable. I think uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, tutorials uh, from 1 p.m. and also 4 p.m. All right questions on the topics are you getting my point and solutions to it serious tutorials no play no joking are you getting my point so you can also follow have a time for this so the next thing is start with easy topics first very critical so you don't get discouraged like in maths the easy topic there is what your fractions your board mass, your indices, start with the easy, easy topics first. Finish it, finish it up. Your physics, start with the easy topics first. When you are reading, finish it up. Are you getting me? Before you now go to the advanced ones. All right. Then also, you focus on a bit more, on a, a bit more on frequently repeated exam topics. By God's grace, I'm also going to talk about that. All right. So focus a bit more on frequently repeated topics, exam topics. OK, like in maths, you must always there must always be questions on the um, differentiation and integration. You can't miss it. Those two topics in your maths, you can never miss it. Are you getting me? There must be circle theory, must be swords in your maths. Are you getting my point? So you can't miss all those in trigonometry. You will see it there. Okay, coordinate geometry, you will see the midpoint of a line. You always see those, don't you see those topics? Very critical. So make sure you first of all finish up the easy topics quickly. Within within one day, you can finish all the easy topics and practice past question. Then the other days, you, you remember my own timetable is okay. I want to focus a week, seven days on English, seven the next seven days, this, the next seven days physics and chemistry. So when I do that for a month. All right, I must have finished about 90% of all uh, uh, the my, my subject combination syllabus. Then the next few weeks, I would heavily depend on my past question booklets and start practicing. This way, it takes me to what? Um, the uh, point number four, practice, practice, practice. Test yourself under what exam, what condition. What, does, what do I mean by that? Set your time. Your wristwatch or your phone, yeah, good phone. You have stopwatch. Um, the normal time for your exam, I think it's about um, is it 40 minutes for uh, your 30 minutes for your 40 questions. But I'm also going to do a video ex breaking down that uh, breaking down the time. But you know, um, uh, time yourself lower than that. You can time yourself uh, instead of 40 minutes, time yourself 35 minutes. Put yourself under that exam condition. When you are answering your questions, when you are practicing, if you don't understand a question, skip it immediately. Go to ones that are easy for you. When you solve them, then you come back to the ones that you don't understand. Put yourself under those, on those, under those conditions. And I want you to start from like the year 20, uh, 2001. Start practicing on each of these topics. Okay? On each of these topics, start practicing on them. The first time you do it, I remember doing that back then, over 16 years ago. The first time I practiced, I got about 10 over 50. Then it was 50 questions in, in jam. 10 over 50. It was quite discouraging, but I didn't give up. I continued. Before I, a week before I got to the, um, before I start for my exam, I was getting 40 over 50. Consistent practice, I became more perfect. I started noticing questions, the patterns, the way it is being twisted. That's why you need to practice. Put yourself under that exam condition. Time yourself. Be critical with your time. Don't give your time. Don't give yourself extra time. Shorten your time and practice and practice and what practice. Okay. And uh, the final thing, not I don't want this video to be quite long. The final thing is you definitely need to pray. Okay. Pray about everything. Pray for God's favor upon you, even in your center. You know, um, you know. Sometimes I've seen some students where the problem was just their system. Their system just went off like that, or they click on submit button, it didn't submit. So several things can happen. You know, technical issues. This is Nigeria. I'm sorry about that. Okay, but technical issues can arise. So prayers will go a long way to help you avert all this thing, to put God first 
and he would take control of all your situations of the exams okay and give you that your desired results as far as you put your work in it okay as far as you labor towards it he would bless you all right so these are the tips all right for you on how to cover your syllabus fast all right so get all these things your textbook your past question booklet okay you know the subjects that are difficult for you more than the others finish the ones first quickly that you you know uh, you you are very um, strong in then give yourself more time like if you know english quite uh, well you can have four days for english add that if math is difficult for you add the three days to maths to finish it up all right let us go on the 30 days marathon all right 30 days marathon and i want i want to know how far you've gone within the next 30 days so by 11th of february i expected anyone that have watched this video to have completed your syllabus at least 90 percent and all you need to do is start to practice put yourself under that exam condition practice practice when you fail you know when you miss a question you go back now to your notebook and check and don't and i forgot to mention always take notes when reading don't just read like a novel no 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 take notes this is educational it's for exam make sure you put your pen to paper because it helps your memory it helps you recall okay that's what it helps you do it helps you recall what you have read so make sure you take notes all right as i said if for each of your topics, get your several, your different notebooks so you can revise them. All right. So when you fill a question, you go back to your notebook, go back to your textbook. Why did I fill this question? Why, why, why? Revise and, and uh, understand the concept to the particular topic or question. Okay. So these are the tips that a lot of things in my mind to say to you. Okay. But for now, these are the things that would help you cover your syllabus fast so we're going on a 30 days challenge i want you to finish your syllabus within 30 days that's your jam syllabus and you can do it okay believe in yourself be confident in yourself you can do it you are destined to win okay so um this is all i have for you now and also don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life okay and in him you find life everlasting so thank you don't forget to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends family and loved ones and also subscribe to this channel thank you from dtw tutorials see you in our next video bye